Hello meme coin maniacs, before we get started, just a quick reminder that this video is not financial advice, I'm not financial advisor, so make sure you always do your own research before making any investment decisions, so let's get started. Now let's talk about something that really caught my eye and it's called Vortia AI. While most people are still focused on hype-driven coins or flashy generative AI, Vortia is quietly working on something that might be way more important in the long run. They're not just making AI apps, they are building infrastructure, the kind of backbone that could support decentralized, verifiable AI at scale. At the center of all of this is something called VortiChain. It's basically a blockchain purpose built for artificial intelligence. So unlike regular chains, it is tuned for high throughput, super low latency, and can actually handle real-time interface. That means AI agents, models, and data aren't just hosted somewhere in the cloud, they actually live and run directly on chain. On top of that, Vortia is rolling out a few really interesting pieces. There's an AI marketplace where verified AI models and data providers can connect with developers, and it's all managed through on-chain governance, so you know it's transparent. They've also built a data getaway with encryption and zero-knowledge technology, making it possible to exchange data securely, monetize it, and still comply with regulations. And for builders, they've got the Vortia SDK and Oracles, letting anyone plug AI logic into Web3, trigger models, and pull real-world data into smart contracts. Now, why is all this different? Right now, AI is mostly centralized. Data and models live on private servers owned by big companies, and users have very little control and there's almost no transparency. Blockchain, on the other hand, is decentralized but locks intelligent computing, so Vortia is merging the two, decentralized infrastructure with AI that can be verified and scaled. Now, what could that actually look like? Well, think about it as a DeFi platform that uses on-chain AI to detect risk in real time, or a healthcare system that can run diagnostics on encrypted data without exposing personal records, even supply chains that use predictive AI models to optimize logistics globally. So these are not just future dreams, they're actually exact kind of use cases Vortia is targeting. And the team behind this project is not a small deal, one co-founder is Brian Condonanza, a Forbes 30 under 30 honorary, follow the Royal Society of Arts and Oxford FinTech program graduate. He's been deep in fine tech, venture capital and blockchain for years. And the other co-founder is Dr. Diego Macado Reis, who has a PhD in biomedical engineering and built AI models at IBM and Rensselaer Polytechnic. So his research has focused on large-scale AI for health, especially around Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, so he knows how to build scalable, ethical, and transparent AI systems. Now let's go and hit the tokenomics. Their native token is called VAI with a total supply of $3 billion. Initial offering price is $0.01 and the breakdown looks solid, 70% going to the token sale, 10% for the team and advisors with proper vesting, 10% for the ecosystem grow like grants and developer programs, 5% for marketing and then 5% held in reserve. And here's a nice touch, any unsold tokens will be burned, which is good for scarcity and long-term value. The pre-sale is already live and they're running a 50% bonus that is ending soon, so for early adopters, this is a chance to stock up on tokens before the ecosystem really kicks in. Media outlets are already covering them, like London Daily Views and MSN both publish pieces on how Vortia is building AI infrastructure for the future, not just hype tokens. That coverage is a big credibility booster, especially in a market where a lot of AI projects are just buzzwords. So here's the big picture, Vortia AI is aiming to be the Ethereum of AI. So if you want to stay updated with the latest news and announcements, make sure to check out their social medias. And that'll be all for today. Thank you for watching Meme Coin Maniacs, and I'll see you in the next one.